UTPA men's and women's basketball opened their first season in the WAC against Grand Canyon. We'll see how they did. We get to know women's soccer head coach Claude Bugaryu and get your polls out. It's time to go fishing. This is Bronc Country. Welcome to Brown Country. I'm Jonah Goldberg. The University of Texas Pan American men's and women's basketball team played in a conference game in a conference that grants automatic qualifications into the NCAA tournament for the first time in nearly 16 years on Thursday when they opened up Western Athletic Conference play against Grand Canyon. Ladies first, Bronx playing host to Grand Canyon in their first WAC basketball home game in school history. The Antelope scored the first four points of the game, but now, it's the Bronx turn. Jasmine Thompson makes it a one point game. And then Sherelle Price connects to give the Bronx the lead. After Shante Goff hits a pair of free throws, she buries the three. 10 straight points for the Bronx, it's 10 to four. The Bronx maintained a small lead for the next six and a half minutes, but Alexandria Hill is thinking big. And you think that was a deep three? Then check this one out. From behind the NBA arc, Bronx up 26-16. Later on in the half, Bronx trying to create some separation. Price for three, not once, but twice. Bronx up 36-24. The Rocks led by as many as 13, first on this Tanisha Walker free throw at the end of the half. Then on each of these two Walker layups, Bronx up 42-29. The Lopes pulled within five, five minutes later, but Goff responds. Nails the three, then hits the layup. Bronx up 10. And then next time down the court, we're back to Thompson. Bronx up 53-41. That's when the Lopes got hot. They went on a 14-0 run to take the lead back. Luckily for the Bronx, the price is right. Ties the game at 55. Next possession, it's Walker for three. The Bronx take a lead that they don't relinquish. Bronx win 60-58. Four Bronx reach double figures in scoring. Goff with 14 points to lead the Bronx for the fifth time this season. A few career highs set in this game. Hill with 12 points and two steals, and Price with her 10 points. Well, it, it feels great. I mean, it's a historical win for the program, the first WAC win ever in the history of the women's basketball. It's over a really good team that came in with the best record, 11-2, and two, and we came away with a win. We're 1-0 in the WAC, and uh, full steam ahead. Um, it was a great team win. It was very much needed. We went on a three-game losing streak, so that's that can't happen for us. And we play good at home. We we always do good at home. So we knew we had to come out and do what we had to do, and we got the job done. We were just all very into the game. We were excited. It was our first WAC game here at UTPA, and we just wanted to come out and play our hardest. Here's a look at the WAC standings. Idaho off to a 2-0 start. The Bronx, Bakersfield, and New Mexico State all 1-0. Idaho won last year's WAC tournament, while Seattle won the regular season championship. And what do you know, they're the next two opponents for the Bronx, both on the road. Idaho is probably the best team in the league. They went to the NCAA tournament last year. They returned a lot of good players. They'll be tough to beat up in Idaho. On to the men, visiting Grand Canyon to open WAC play. Javon Farrell finds Shaq Boga for the layup. Six to five Bronx. A little later on, the rebound tip out to Farrell, comes straight to the hoop for the layup. We're tied at 15. And then, near the end of the half, you know what they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Justin Leathers with the bucket. Brought the Bronx within 33-31, but the Antelopes go on to win 91-85. Plenty of positives to take away for the Bronx. Four players reached double figures in scoring. Shat Boga set new career highs in points with 25, rebounds with eight, baskets with nine, and free throws with six. Farrell also with 25 points, his most as a Bronx, tying his career high. Perhaps more impressive than the scoring though, the Bronx committed just five turnovers, their lowest total in over five years, and tied for the fewest in a game by a WAC team this season. Yeah, that's a great thing, you know, for us to, to not be turning the ball over, uh, taking care of your possessions. That's actually what kept us in the game. There was a huge differential in turnovers. I think Grand Canyon had 18 and we had five. Yeah, it was an offensive game the whole way. Uh, we couldn't get them stopped. They couldn't get us stopped. Uh, 
came down to the end. We're one down with 50 left. They threw a desperation three in and, you know, just one of those games. They, they shot the ball very, very well, give them credit, but I thought we showed some progress too. Bronx visiting Texas A&M to close out the non-conference slate. Aggies up five to nothing early. Laurie Toivonen with the strong move to the rim. Bronx within five to two. Bronx now down 6-2. Justin Leathers with a little fake out. Feed Shaq Boga for three. Bronx within one, it's 6-5. Now, Leathers wasn't just faking on the threes. He hits one there. Kicks off a nice little run. Because after this, Shaq Hines jumper falls in. Leathers again for three. 7-0 run. Game tied at 15. Aggies get the next basket. Boga having none of that. Nails the long two. Ties the game at 17. Bronx down two again, Leathers for three again. His third of a career high four three-pointers, Bronx take a 2019 lead and kept the game close most of the way. But the Aggies closed the game on a 17-3 run to beat the Bronx 63-46. Leathers finished with a team high 13 points, seven rebounds and three steals. Hines also with seven rebounds to go with his 10 points. You know, came in with a game plan to play zone, but we knew the difficulty in that would be getting a rebound. And uh, 14 offensive rebounds uh, on, what, uh, 30 missed shots, uh, that, that was a factor. But, uh, you know, to <clears throat> try to play man against that size and strength uh, would have been difficult for us. So, uh, and I don't know that the rebounding would have been anything different. So, uh, you know, <clears throat> we've got to make shots. Uh, we're not going to get anything inside against them. And uh, we moved the ball around and took an inordinate amount of threes, but uh, probably a few too many. But uh, they did a great job on Javon tonight defensively. Uh, and Javon did a, a good job on Javon at the same time. So it uh, became a real tough night for him. No, I think, I think we're pretty scrappy that way. You know, we moved the ball pretty good. And, and, and uh, the thing we couldn't do tonight is get to the rim. Uh, the other night we, we were able to drive and when we get more against our stock we have a chance to get in there. But tonight they took that away and, and made it very difficult to get to the rim so we were living on jump shots and as you've seen by our percentages that's, that's not a great thing for us. Here's a look at the WAC standings. Kansas City off to their first 2-0 start in six years. New Mexico State, Utah Valley, Chicago State and Grand Canyon also with wins. The Bronx play their first ever WAC home game on Thursday at 7 p.m. against Idaho. The Bronx then hosts Seattle on Saturday, also at 7 p.m. Now, if you want to guarantee your seats to see Bronx men's and women's basketball facing off against WAC competition, this is your last chance to get yourself some WAC packs. You can get reserved tickets to all the Bronx WAC men's basketball home games for just $75. Women's WAC packs go for $25. Want one? Get out your phone and give the Bronx a call, 956-665-2221. And while you're on the phone, make sure you inquire about WAC tournament ticket packages and travel plans. You can get a ticket to all 14 WAC tournament men's and women's basketball games for just $165. The WAC tournament is taking place in Vegas this year, over spring break no less. We even have an in on hotel rooms through corporate travel. So give us a call or visit utpabronx.com today. Hey, we've been telling you Bronx Country just got a whole lot bigger, haven't we? Well, Viva Las Vegas! A few weeks ago, we showed you what a coach does with his days in the year leading up to the start of his team. Coming up on Bronx Country, we get to know UTPA women's soccer head coach, Claude Begariu. Madness is calling. The 2014 WAC Men's and Women's Basketball Tournament. March 12th through the 15th at Orleans Arena in Las Vegas. 16 teams battle through the brackets on their way to the Big Dance. Be there to see who will go home the big winner. Ticket packages on sale now at utpabronx.com.
commercial brought to you by Lax Furniture, an official sponsor of the University of Texas Pan American Intercollegiate Athletics. In April, UTPA Athletics hired Glad Bugaryu as the first head coach in the history of the brand new women's soccer program. But just who is Glad Bugaryu? Alex Pena has the story. We all want to be players forever. Um, and some of us are good enough and some are not good enough. So, my, so it was that time to realize that you got to finish your education, move forward, um, and start going on the next best thing, which is coaching. And uh, that's the path I've chosen. And I started from the very bottom and worked my way to the very top. I left Romania when I was 10 years old. So I've been gone from Romania a long time. Now, every, since the revolution, I've been fortunate enough to be able to go back every single summer. The process of getting out of Romania was a long, long journey, to say the least. My father ran away in 1985. He, um, you know, we had, we had many problems. Our family had many problems under the communist regime. Um, and we, my dad was able to get out. Two years later, he actually ended up in uh, San Antonio, Texas. So it took two years for me to see my father again. We moved to North Carolina where I started attending school, playing soccer, and, and, and moving forward. I, you know, I went to a high school in, near Raleigh, North Carolina. And then I got recruited by a number of colleges, one of them being Brevard College. So I went and played at Brevard College. I finished the Brevard College and needed to finish my degree, so I took some time off, went to uh, Romania for half a year to play in the uh, Romanian fourth division. And that's when I kind of started realizing that my future was in more into coaching. So I returned to the United States, finished my uh, grad, uh, undergraduate degree at the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill, and took my first coaching job with a recreational team, an under 14 boys recreational team, as an assistant men's soccer coach at Lewisburg Junior College. And that's where the journey began. I'm trying to change the way women's soccer is looked at in this country. We always base soccer in this country, and the, and the women's side anyway, on physicality and, and fitness. And I'm trying to be much more sophisticated than that. Um, a very professional approach, a global approach to coaching. Um, and I'm very proud of that. And I think that's part of going back to, to, to being a player at, as a goalkeeper, studying the game. And that just my knowledge just always wanted to increase every time. Um, it's amazing, though, that we haven't had soccer sooner and that soccer hasn't resisted because one of the reasons I wanted to come coach here is it's in a soccer center. I mean, soccer is a very important sport in the area, and I wanted to be part of that. And, um, you know, I wanted to go to somewhere where the soccer coach, the soccer team, the, the soccer program was of some importance. And that's not always the case in every place you go. The UTPA men's tennis spring schedule is now out. Eight home matches for the Bronx, starting January 24th against UMBC, coached by former Bronx Rob Hubbard and Oliver Steele. It's the start of a four-match homestand, as the Bronx host Louisiana Lafayette, Oral Roberts, and Prairie View A&M over the following week. The Bronx will help kick off homecoming weekend with a morning match on February 14th against Lamar, and then host WAC opponents Grand Canyon and Kansas City on February 28th and March 3rd. Senior day is March 10th against Jackson State. It's all part of a 19-match schedule leading up to the WAC Championships April 25th through 27th at New Mexico State. The UTPA Women's Tennis Spring schedule is out as well. The Bronx also with eight home matches, starting January 24th against UMBC, one of a few dates the men's and women's teams have in common, as there are going to be a few doubleheaders this season. The Bronx also hosts Prairie View A&M on February 2nd, before hitting the road for six, a trip which includes a stop at WAC opponent Chicago State. The Bronx have a season-long four-match homestand February 26th through March 2nd, when they host Texas A&M Corpus Christi and Texas A&M Kingsville, as well as WAC opponents Grand Canyon and Kansas City. After a spring break trip through Louisiana, Mississippi, and Oklahoma, the Bronx come home for matches against UTSA and Incarnate Word. The Bronx will also have a chance to compete in their first WAC championships April 25th through 27th, at New Mexico State. If you want to show your support for the soccer and tennis teams, or any of our other sports for that matter, donate to the Bronx Athletic Fund today. You can become a member of the BAF for just $50 a year. All of the money raised goes directly to student-athlete scholarships, 
So visit BronkAthleticFund.com today to see how you can make a meaningful impact on the lives of student athletes. One way you can donate to the Bronk Athletic Fund is by participating in our 8th Annual Bay Fishing Tournament, affectionately known as BAIT, on South Padre Island on April 12th. You'll be one of eight teams with a chance to win over $10,000 in cash prizes, or one of the other teams that just has a really good time. The grand prize? $4,000. There's also a raffle to win a $35,000 boat. Interest peaked? Visit utpabronx.com slash bait for more information. Or better yet, keep your TV tuned to Bronx Country, because coming up next, we're going to tell you about bait and show you just how much fun it is. It's become an annual tradition for UTPA Athletics on South Padre Island. Every year, members of our community and others descend on South Padre Island for the Bronx Athletic International Tournament, or BAIT, a bay fishing tournament with over $10,000 in cash prizes and a raffle to win a $35,000 boat. It's one of our key events every year, and here's why. Hello, I'm Chris King, Director of Athletics at the University of Texas Pan American. The purpose of Bronx Athletics is to enhance the educational mission of the institution and to provide student athletes with the opportunity to succeed academically while competing athletically at the NCAA Division I level and representing UTPA on a national stage. Our student athletes cannot reach their educational or athletic goals without the support of individuals who believe strongly in our vision of excellence. For the seventh year in a row, UTP Athletics has hosted a major fishing tournament, the Bronx Athletic International Tournament, with all proceeds directly benefiting athletic scholarships at UTPA. We are grateful for all those individuals whose generosity and hard work made this year's bait the best ever, and it is our pleasure to relate how this event has a tremendous impact on the educational mission of UTPA Athletics. Bait has grown to not only become the primary annual fundraising event for the University of Texas Pan American Athletics, but also a highly visible event that has become a fixture on the local outdoor calendar. On April 13, 2013, over 200 participants, sponsors, volunteers, and UTPA staff members gathered at Louie's Backyard on South Padre Island to make Bait a huge success in support of athletic scholarships at UTPA. Over 35 boats hit the water this day to compete for over $11,500 in cash prizes for the largest redfish, trout, and flounder caught in the lower Laguna Madre. Additionally, the Bait Advisory Board conducted a raffle to award a brand new 18-foot shallow sport boat to a lucky winner. 334 tickets were sold at $100 each during the raffle. UTPA Athletics is grateful for the support of several industry leaders whose sponsorships contributed to make bait a success in 2013. Champion level sponsor included Skanska. Elite level sponsors were Walmart and Enriquez Enterprises. Prime sponsor, Rio Health Medical and Shallow Sport Boats. And event sponsor, The Sportsman. Through the support of sponsors, boat entry fees, and raffle proceeds, the 2013 Bait event raised proceeds of $45,000 to benefit athletic scholarships at UTPA. This amount is the highest ever for the event and a testament to the hard work and generosity of many individuals and the importance of supporting opportunities for higher education for UTPA student athletes. In 2013, numerous leaders throughout the community volunteered their time to help make BAIT a success. UTPA Athletics appreciates the enthusiastic efforts of the 2013 BAIT Advisory Board, whose members included Bill Ellis, Felo Guerra, Andrew Herring, Lisa Helly, Wes Hudson, Chris King, Joe Lindemann, Skipper Mock, Carol Rausch, Mario Requeñez, Ed Rivera, Steve Rodriguez, Bud Rowland, Paul Trevino, Karen Watt, and Ricky Vaughn. I've been fishing this tournament now for, I think, five consecutive years. And uh, it seems like every year it just gets more exciting and uh, the benefits from this tournament seem to be growing every year that we do it. Unlike a golf tournament where you have to have some kind of skill, this, this tournament is open to um, 
to everyone. I mean, uh, family members, uh, loved ones, uh, anyone uh, that wants to just get out there and, and put put a bait on the hook and throw it out. Uh, you know, it's 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 open to everyone, and everyone cannot go out there and have fun. And while you're having fun, you're raising money uh, for scholarships for athletes that go to University of Texas Pan American. There's a lot of uh, great sportsmanship out there. I mean, you see all the, the people coming together for a great cause. And, um, you know, I'd like to, to continue to be involved in it for, for years to come. And I invite faculty and staff to uh, also join in on, on this particular fundraiser because it's great for student athletes here at UTPA. In the last three years, this, this tournament has grown immensely, you know, and it's, it's, a lot of it, I think, has to do with the fact that the foundation has supported this, this event. You know, it's, it's gotten a much broader reach in, in, the, in the valley, uh, in, uh, in the business uh, community within, within the uh, Rio Grande Valley. Uh, I, I believe it's the foundation that has added that, that, that extra dimension to, to grow in the, the, uh, the uh, tournament to where it is today. And I can only see it growing even more. The benefits of bait go beyond the enjoyment of a fishing tournament, but instead have an impact on UTPA athletics that is vibrantly seen throughout the entire year. Currently, UTPA Athletics awards approximately 1.2 million in athletic scholarships that aid over 150 student athletes annually. Of this, over a quarter of these students come from the Rio Grande Valley, and over two thirds are Texas natives. As they pursue their educational degrees and compete athletically, these outstanding young people proudly represent their university on both a regional and national level. Over the years, thousands of Bronx student athletes have been successful in the classroom and on the competitive fields and courts in preparation to giving back to their communities as productive citizens and community leaders. As Director of Athletics at UTPA, I am proud of how our Bronx student athletes represent our institution and our community. It is a privilege to support their efforts in both the classroom and on the competition fields and courts. BAIT has become a cornerstone in our annual fundraising efforts to provide educational opportunities for our student athletes and field competitive sports programs. I am thrilled that the 2013 BAIT was such an outstanding success and I'm appreciative of all those individuals that contributed to raise even more funds this year in support of our Bronx student athletes. I hope everyone will actively follow the bright future that this event provides for Bronc Athletics, UTPA, and the Rio Grande Valley. Madness is calling. The 2014 WAC Men's and Women's Basketball Tournament. March 12th through the 15th at Orleans Arena in Las Vegas. 16 teams battle through the brackets on their way to the big dance. Be there to see who will go home the big winner. Ticket packages on sale now at utpabronx.com. This commercial brought to you by Lax Furniture, an official sponsor of the University of Texas Pan American Intercollegiate Athletics. We want to thank you for stamping your passport in Bronx Country this week. Schedule another visit for next week. But until then, Go Bronx! Madness is calling. The 2014 WAC Men's and Women's Basketball Tournament. March 12th through the 15th at Orleans Arena in Las Vegas. 16 teams battle through the brackets on their way to the big dance. Be there to see who will go home the big winner. 
Ticket packages on sale now at utpabronx.com. This commercial brought to you by Lax Furniture, an official sponsor of the University of Texas Pan American Intercollegiate Athletics. 